very excited to go on this cruise. This is my third cruise of the year. Uh, it's extra special for a few reasons. Even though Missy is not coming along, I am bringing my good friend John the Acrobat. It is his first cruise ever, and it's a balloon twisting cruise. We are entering Port Everglades here in Port Lauderdale. There's our ship, Liberty of the Seas. Here's our room, 3646. What do you think, John? I think this is way better than the boat I crossed. <laughs> I would hope so. All right, this is the Royal Promenade. It's not quite as grand or royal as on the bigger ships. All right, I take it back. That was pretty grand and royal. And of course, we can check out the gym. They have actual dumbbells here, actual people lifting. Actual dumbbells. Smith machine. <laughs> this is pretty good for a ship that didn't even cost a billion dollars. Ship is taken off. We are saying goodbye to Miami. Or Port Lauderdale or wherever we are. This is the main dining room. They're prepping for breakfast right now. Look at the size of this thing. The grand staircase and two more levels and a chandelier The fear of height is fit. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All better now. <laughs> I'd love to chat more, but uh, we're off to the dance fitness class. <laughs> the deciding stroke here. Oh, and he wins it by one stroke. Oh my gosh, you just won the family miniature golf tournament against one other person. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Take a bow. You can go to Disney World. Or... <laughs> no, thank you. Huh? <laughs> I'm in the middle of the ocean and I'm getting Rick rolled. <laughs> We've been having so much fun, I can't believe this is actually our first stop. This is a perfect day because of okay. And there are some gigantic water slides in our future. And they're even singing the Coco K song, which is super annoying. We're having a great time on the island. We already did two water slides. And uh, let's see what else is going on here. There's a view of the water slides from far away. I think we did the two tallest ones. Screams scare me. We're gonna do this uh, giant pink donut next. That's where we heard the screaming coming from. Thank you. Oasis Lagoon. All right, tell us about this, John. Yeah. So I thought this was a really good day. Uh, there were not many lines or anything. It's a really tall water slide that we love. Um, the second time we went on it, we didn't wait at all. There were zero people ahead of us. It was a great slide. Um, the pool in the center, I'd never been to that pool in the middle before. Um, it has Lagoon in the name. Really nice pool. Really like that. The beaches here are great. And um, yeah, we got to do like a whole bunch of water slides and uh, it's good food too. Oh, I think it's great. I'm a little cold, but I had a blast. I even took a nap. Can you believe that? You did take a nap on <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Great place. Good 
<laughs> yeah, I, I just wish my wife could be here to celebrate this with me. arrived at Nassau, Bahamas. There's the famous Atlantis Hotel. There was another cruise ship in the distance there. Can't quite tell what it is. But if you think you know what ship it is, leave me a comment, let me know. I'm genuinely curious about the name of this ship that I'm probably never gonna see again. This isn't some pathetic, contrived attempt to rack up comments on my video in order to game the YouTube algorithm. That would be ridiculous. That little kid's water park on the ship looks like so much fun. We're taking this ferry to get to the mainland. Of course, I have to wait till the last minute to get on so I don't curl. When you're in a foreign country, it's important to do things that you can't do at home. That's why John and all my balloon friends are going to Margaritaville to eat burgers and drink Diet Coke. I'm here with Mark Byrne, the Hat King. Mark, tell me, who are you wearing? Who am I wearing? I'm wearing a Mark Byrne original. Uh, the and anything notable about your shirt? Um, it matches the hat. Oh yeah! <laughs> he has a bathing suit like that too. Wow. Oh, I, I, yeah. Okay, so we are in the famous Atlantic Hotel. Atlantis Hotel. Atlantis Hotel in the Bahamas, in Nassau. So David, why are you in the casino? Well, you know, there are only about three billion video tours of the Atlantis Hotel on YouTube, so I figured we could use another one. Wow, that's the biggest yellow tail I've ever seen. So, John, what do you call a fish with no eye? That's right. <laughs> We're on our way back to the ship, and you can see the Atlantis in the distance there. And we got a whole lot of dinghies here. David, that's like 50 shades of blue. What's going on? John, last night of the cruise. What did you think? What did you like? What didn't you like? Overall, it's a super cruise, my first. So I have no other references, but it's awesome. Okay, how's the food? Oh, food is uh, eight and a half, nine out of 10. All right, how was the room? Same, eight okay. and a half, nine out of 10, perfect. How's your roommate? Oh, he's definitely 10 plus. He's a 10 plus, yeah. <laughs> so I was pretty impressed. I had a really good time. Uh, I was a little concerned that it was an older ship, but it was actually really nice. Um, Jim was really nice for an older ship. Um, it's a pretty good size. I thought it would be small. It's not really small. Uh, there were a couple annoying Royal Caribbean things, like threatening us with fines if we don't return their crappy $2 towels at the end of the trip, um, but basically good. What's the deal with the pajama pants? I told you, 
the Star Wars pajama pants keep me from getting homesick. That's all there is to it.